I had a strange synchronicity that I forgot to mention. I asked the Qigong master, Jim Nance, to do a long distance healing for our trip. Uh, when we flew for the first time and over for myself over 15 years and when I got to my relative's place, um, I was meditating and, and, um, in the middle of the night, uh, suddenly I noticed this book on the bookshelf when I, and it was called the Jesus papers. And I saw, I recognized the author and then I, I opened the book and immediately it fell open on a passage about Dr. Peter Kingsley. And the chapter was called The Initiation. And as people who've read my work, they know that I've I first discovered Dr. Peter Kingsley's work in um nineteen in um two thousand two. Um I discovered his PhD thesis that was published by Oxford University Press in 1996. And so, um, the, this book, The Jesus Papers, is by Michael Bajant, and he was author, co-author of a book called The Holy Blood, Holy Grail, that was the basis of the Da Vinci Code um, blockbuster hit. And I had learned about the Holy Blood, Holy Grail from my best uh, friend buddy at uh, Hampshire College where I spent my first year of school. And we remained friends for um, ten, 10 years, about almost like 10 years after that, and um, off and on, mainly the first few years, we stayed close friends, and um, so I, I knew we had discussed this book, I, I, I had read it already, and so when I, when I opened up the Jesus papers, um, and I saw the reference to Dr. Peter Kingsley, then I read on, and the author was discussing how the the ancient Egyptians, it had been proven that they rely on these initiation caves for their secret meditation training, their alchemy meditation was done in the same kind of cave meditation that was done in Western Asia. And I had recently been wondering, you know, how did the what was the secret of the Egyptian um, pyramid power? You know, what was there? Because um, the uh, Jim Nance, um, he had told me how he had been laying down on a table in the temple in Egypt, and he had this intense um, spirit this light that was so bright and this from the spirit and it said that if you look at me you will not survive and he wasn't able to move his body from this energy this really bright light and so he wasn't able to look even when he tried to look you know and and i think i think this this was the cosmic mother energy in my opinion, of a popus or Nuit of Egypt. And at any rate, the if you read the uh, Christ in Egypt by D.M. Murdoch, this was her academic tome, and she argues that the true meaning of Christianity is from Egypt, from the Egyptian uh, alchemy, training of based on Osiris and Horus and um so here we have confirmation in the Jesus Papers book based on the 
uh, an elaboration of Dr. Peter Kingsley's uh, pre-Socratic Pythagorean alchemy analysis that indeed the secret of Egyptian religion was the same cave underground uh, cavern chamber meditation and uh, Qigong master Robert Pang in fact did his um, long-term fasting in an underground secret uh, chamber underneath the Shaolin temple from uh, Master Yao and I think that's the same Master Yao that was training uh, Chen Yulin. Also healed him of his bone spur using this laser energy that's he also used to light things on fire. And uh, Chen Yi didn't believe him at first when he saw his um, eyes or his hands light things on fire. and But then when he felt the burning laser energy touch his spine and heal his bone spur and he had a he had a burn mark there on his spine then he he knew that that was the real deal it wasn't some some trick with a chemical and so the secret of the pyramid power is the full lotus meditation that the Taoist monks and Buddhist monks practice the full lotus meditation as the pyramid power that's also found in Egypt is also this same um, cave alchemy uh, darkness meditation and that's documented in this Jesus paper the Jesus papers book by Michael Bajant and I had um, I had been wondering I was wondering, like, well, what was their secret in Egypt, you know, to their their spiritual training, their experiences? I knew they they take this blue flower that's a psychedelic flower, but I knew there must be more. Um, I knew the ratio two-thirds is sacred, and that was a sacred uh, music harmonic also as the, the single perfect yang in uh, the music theory, the Taoist music secret of the Tao Te Ching, chapter 42. Um, the uh, empty chi, or the wan chi, the, the cosmic chi is the emptiness. As the merger of yin and yang from the music theory of two-thirds and three-fourths, as the infinite uh, spiral that cannot be seen, it can only be listened to. And so this is what Pythagoras was trained in when he was initiated, was this secret in the Egyptian uh, cavern. And Michael Bajan, he passed on in 2013 in his final book in 2009 was about how the three main religions are causing the apocalypse on earth. Um, but he also was a, a Freemason. So I don't think his, I don't think his view was radical enough, but he, but the secret of French free Freemasonry is to practice the full Lotus meditation as, um, Professor uh, um, Hugh, Hugh B. Urban documents this in one of his published articles. So that's all I'm going to say for now. And just wanted to get that out there that I had that synchronicity. And thanks to the uh, Qigong master for doing the, the long distance healing.